All right. So you're in a very common situation. You're looking for a house to buy and A, there are no houses to buy or B, every house you're interested in is wildly competitive by multiple offers, multiple showings, or at least uh, a high level of demand, right? This doesn't happen in every single market, but if you're finding yourself in that situation right now, there are some solutions for you. Now, let me be very clear. I'm a real estate broker. I am biased. I think buyers should hire professional representation when going through such an important, such a valuable transaction. But I'm going to give you some tips right now that if you have the time and if you're willing to put in the work, you could do some of this, most of this maybe even on your own, all by yourself. Now, it's going to go much better, in my opinion, if you have a real estate agent or broker on your side doing most of this for you. But either way, the principles remain true. So here's the deal. Off-market properties are going to be your best friend. Finding a home that the rest of the world does not know is on the market is about your very best opportunity to buy a home in a highly competitive market without having to overpay or without having to bend to someone else's unbelievably unreasonable timeline or without having to give up all or most of your protections, your ability to back out, your ability to be protected by an appraisal or an inspection or those kind of things. So this video will from here forward be all about helping you find off market properties. What does that even mean? On market under my use of the term means on the MLS, on realtor.com, on the big websites all over the internet that most people with an internet, uh, with internet access can, can find. Off market means not publicly marketed, right? There's no sign in the yard. It's not on the website. It's not on the MLS. Uh, nobody generally knows unless the homeowner or someone representing them told them by word of mouth or one-to-one -one communication. So that's what we want to find, right? So if you have the time as an individual or if you have an agent, the goal would be to communicate with people in the areas you want to live and determine if anyone in that area is thinking about selling. Duh. Sounds pretty logical, right? It's also very, very difficult. You know, are you going to go knock door to door? Is that even legal in your area? Are you going to call everyone in the area? How do you even get their phone numbers in the modern world where phone numbers are not as available? Um, are you going to email them? How do you get their email address? Are you going to run an ad to them? How do you do that? You know, none of this is simple. Again, a great agent is doing some or all of that. Most agents aren't doing any of this. So if you can't find a great agent, maybe you do want to do this by yourself, but you want to speak with as many homeowners in the area that you're looking to move as possible to see if any of them are thinking about selling. Now here's the deal. Typically in a market where inventory is low, where this would be the case, a lot of sellers are not announcing themselves as sellers until they do what you're doing, until they find a home to move into. Therefore, you have this cycle of people that could help each other or, you know, one could help the other that is really bound up and, and, and not unlocked until somebody starts to make a move, right? I would sell if I could buy. Well, I would sell if I could buy. Well, hey, I would sell if I could buy. Well, one of us needs to buy the other one's house, which would begin this chain reaction of people potentially being able to get their goals achieved. Now, we're not all going to buy each other's house. It's never going to be that perfectly smooth and simple. But if we can start to loosen up that chain a little bit by connecting with people that say, hey, I would sell, but only in this situation, then we could make some things happen. Now, again, an individual who's only looking for one house for one person themselves or their family is not likely to make a dramatic impact in this situation. But an agent or a brokerage or a really powerful team might have 37 people that would potentially sell and 50 people that would potentially buy and can start connecting some dots. And as they do, more homes come available in that pool and more buyers get satisfied. And so you start unlocking that chain, those locks a little bit, loosening it up. And so you see things moving. That's true for any way that you could find an off-market property. One of them is calling, knocking on doors, getting into another neighborhood. Another one is communicating with people that have already made it clear they wanted to sell, but for one reason or another, haven't sold or failed to sell, right? So they put their house on the market and they took it off. They tried by owner, it took it off. They didn't get their price. They couldn't get their terms. They needed foundation repairs and no buyer could or would do it. Maybe their house is currently for rent, but when the lease comes up, if they had a great offer, the owner might be prefer to sell and cash out 
than to renew a lease with tenants. Uh, maybe it's a home that needs some work and the owner doesn't think they could sell, but a buyer willing to do the work would be glad to buy it, right? So there's a lot of different ways to find this inventory, these homes that could be bought that most people don't know about. Let me give you one more thought. There, there is a scenario where someone does not need to sell and hasn't even thought about selling, but when presented with a compelling enough offer, would very quickly want to sell, right? I'm really happy in my house, don't need to move. If somebody came to me and said, hey, I'll pay you 20% more than your house is worth at the highest appraisal you can possibly find, if I can buy it, someone might go, whoa, I was gonna work two more years so I could retire but this person's willing to tell, sell, uh, pay me that much more than my house is legitimately worth just because they want it that bad. I could retire today. Sure, I'll sell my house. I'm not using half the bedrooms anyway, right? So that sounds obscure, but that happens every day in a market where buyers literally cannot find houses, where buyers are having to fight tooth and nail with 100 other buyers or 20 other buyers or five other buyers over every house they find, or they don't have time to sleep and think about a house because they have to move so quickly and impulsively. So think about pursuing off-market properties. If you wanna go about that on your own, I've given you some examples of how to find them, where they might be, the types of people that might wanna do that, or do what I would recommend you do. Find a world-class real estate agent or expert broker who has a team of experts around them that does this all day long, that's got a track record of success, that can guarantee your results. If you're in the DFW area, We'd love to earn your business. My contact information is below. Check out our other videos. I'll see you on the next one.